How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for this video, I want to talk about how much money does it take to turn this BRZ into a fantastic handling car? So first of all, I have to apologize how dirty this car looks. This has been driving through some wintry prep roads, so I've been driving through a lot of salt. But anyway, uh, let's get right down to it. The BRZ is already a fantastic handling car from the factory, primarily because of three things. First, it's lightweight. This is 2,800 pounds, so the lighter the car, the easier it is to handle, the better it is you could throw it around corners, and the less tire you need to have a great handling car. Number two, this has a front engine rear wheel drive setup, which is dead simple setup. A lot of great sports cars have that configuration. And with this car, of course, you already know this has the boxer engine. So this sits a little bit lower than your traditional inline four or V configuration engines. And lastly, this thing has a limited slip differential in the back. So what that means is that it limits the torque differential between the left and the right sides. So it's going to handle much better than something with an open differential, which usually sends 100% of the torque to the side that's slipping the most. So if you think about an all-wheel drive car, how that has so much grip around corners, well, that's because it's sending torque to more than just one wheel. With a limited slip differential, think about it like that. It's sending torque to both wheels in the back. So we already know that the BRZ is a great handling car from the factory. So how do you make it even better? Well, you have to turn to the aftermarket world. And thankfully the Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ and now the Toyota 86, there's so many of these cars on the road. That means that aftermarket support is great. There's so many companies that make parts for these cars. That means that the consumer yourself is going to win out because there's, again, there's so many parts. You have so many things to choose from. It drives down the cost for all of these parts. Now I will say that this setup that I'm going to share with you today is probably not going to be the cheapest But it's definitely by far not going to be the most expensive Of course you can throw in parts to the car the most expensive parts to a car and You're going to get a great handling package So think of the setup that I'm going to share with you today kind of like the best bang for your buck So as I share my setup with you, please feel free to comment down below what your setup for your BRZ is like uh, what kind of shocks do you use, what kind of springs, or any sort of engine performance upgrades, please list it down in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. Uh, in terms of this video, I'm not gonna be talking about any engine performance upgrades because I have not done any of those upgrades to this car. This is purely talking about handling and how to make this car into a great handling car. So now if you've been following this channel, then you know about Project BRZ or Project Driver Mod. I've been taking this car, going to autocross events, and I've been competing this in the Solo Spec Coupe class. And what the Solo Spec Coupe class is, is basically it's limited to the 2013 to 2016 Scion FRS and Subaru BRZs. And every car has to run the same level of modifications. It's the same shocks, it's the same springs and dampers, and it's the same tires. So since everything is equal, the only differentiating factor is the driver. And that's the whole basis of Project Driver Mod, is making myself into a better driver and having a car that doesn't really change. So the heart of the suspension upgrades is the Kony Sport dampers. With the Kony dampers, you get an adjustable damper shock. So you have two and a half turns from full soft to full stiff. So you can set this in the softest setting, which means that it's gonna have more understeer, but it's gonna be easier to control. So when you're autocrossing, just for the very first time, set all four corners in the softest setting. Once you become a better driver and you become more confident in your driving abilities, then definitely stiffen up all four corners and uh, it's going to become a car that's a little bit more tail happy and I think you're going to enjoy that a lot more. The next part of the suspension upgrades is the Eibach Pro Plus kit. That's basically your sway bars, springs, and bump stops. So first of all, it lowers the car by about an inch. Now that in itself is already going to be a massive upgrade over the factory ride height. Just because you're lower, you're gonna have a lower center of gravity by that much more. It's gonna provide you better handling, quicker turn in. Everything is just gonna be a little bit better just because you lowered the car. In that kit, you're also going to get springs that are progressively wound. 
these springs are going to have 25 to 40 percent increase in spring rate over stock springs. What that means is that you're going to have like a neural connection to the road when you're driving around back roads and also weaving around cones. Now anytime you lower the car you're going to change the geometry of the entire suspension setup. That means that with factory linkages you're not going to have the optimal camber and toe setup so with that said you also have to get an alignment kit and what i have in this car is the spc adjustable alignment kit what that does is it provides you with camber and toe adjustment so you can have more negative camber so that's going to increase your grip and in turn your cornering speed additionally in the rear from the factory there's no adjustment for camber or toe so with this kit you're going to be able to adjust that when you're aligning the entire car. So how much does all of the suspension components cost so far? Well, the Kony Sports Strut with the tamper-proof seal, that's going to be $716 in all four corners. The Eibach Pro Plus Kit, so that's your springs, your sway bars, and also your bump stops, that's going to be $653. The SPC Adjustable Alignment Kit, that comes in at $398.50. But of course, all of that won't be complete until we start talking about the wheels and tires. So let's start talking about the wheels. These are MK TS10 10 uh, spoke wheel. These are very lightweight. This is a 17 by eight. This is a tilt cast with flow forming. So what that means is that when it starts with the initial cast, uh, the mold actually starts at 90 degrees. And as they pour molten metal, they start to turn the mold so that you get better crystal structure in the mold itself right before they start doing the flow forming. Now flow forming is basically kind of like an in-between technology between just normal casting and also forging. Forging is going to be the best technology because it cold works the entire wheel much more but with flow forming they basically stretch out the entire wheel structure using rollers so again cold working the entire wheel so you get more strength from less material. So anyway, the 17 by 8 NKTS 10, this weighs only 17.7 pounds. And that is amazing to think about. So the less weight you have, the better handling your car. Again, you wanna reduce unsprung weight. You don't wanna have like a flashy wheel that's like very heavy. That's just gonna go against you when you're trying to achieve a good handling performance out of your car. So 17 by 8, this is plus 45 offset. You could get a little bit more camber if you went with a wheel that has uh, less positive offset. So with the Solo Spec Coupe class, you could have up to plus 40 offset. What that means is that the car, the wheel is going to sit out a little bit more. It's gonna look a little bit more aggressive. But again, I was looking for something that uh, was lightweight and this was a good solution. And wrapped around those wheels are these Falcon Azenus RT615K Plus tires. This is the spec tire for the Solo Spec Coupe class. And uh, there are better tires out there like the Bridgestone RE71Rs. It's a little bit more expensive and you can get a lot more grip there. But again, we're not looking for the most expensive setup. This is going to be a best bang for your buck type of tire. Again, this handles great in the wet, and it's also pretty responsive uh, once it gets up to temperature. These wheels are $195 a piece, while the tires are $116.22 a piece. Again, these are very cheap tires, but they handle really well for the cost. One of the positives of going with a 17 inch wheel as opposed to an 18 inch wheel is that your tires become cheaper. So altogether, this kit, the Coney Yellows, the Eibach Pro Plus kit, the SPC adjustable alignment kit, and also these wheels and tires, that comes out to $3,012.38. Of course, that's before taxes, um, shipping, and also installation, or any sort of like alignment efforts. And also there's a catch. If you wanna get this specific setup, you also have to be a member of the Sports Car Club of America. And a membership for one year costs $70, so, if you're not interested in autocrossing or racing, you could just get a membership and you could also get this kit for you. So $70 on top of the entire cost of the kit isn't really too bad. So if you're looking at the entire kit, again, plus the uh, membership and also all the shipping and before any sort of labor, you're looking at almost $3,500 to get a great handling package for the BRZ. 
And of course, it's very important to align these cars after you've installed everything because a great handling car is only as good as the alignment that's on the car. So with that said, I'm going to end the video right there. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching till the very end. If you found this video somewhat helpful or entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up and also hitting the subscribe button down below. I want to wrap it up right there. My name is Hanson and I'll see you next time.